I'm going to show you how to take your video calls from looking like this to looking like this, and you don't have to spend any money to do it. If you work from home, or anywhere really, and you spend a chunk of time on Zoom or Google Meet or what have you, there are some simple things that you can do to drastically level up the quality of your video calls, and as a result, greatly improve the perceived professionalism and value that you convey to the person on the other end of the internet tubes. And you probably already have everything you need. So let's go back to our crappy before state and we'll walk through three tips to transform the quality of your video calls. Oof, okay. So first, let's fix our composition. As much as possible, you want your camera to be eye level or slightly higher than eye level. So this is a little bit better. If you're using a webcam built into your laptop, you might want to put your computer on a riser or a stack of books. And if you're using an external webcam mounted on top of your monitor, you might actually want to lower it a scooch so your fellow teleconferencers aren't looking down on you from the balcony and see all the junk on the floor. We don't want our head to be dead center in the frame. Let's actually put the main point of interest, in this case our eyes, about a third of the way down from the top of the frame. You might not have a ton of control over this depending on the focal length of your camera and where you sit, but try to make sure the top of your head isn't getting cut off. There you go, this is looking pretty good. Next, and this is a biggie, let's fix our lighting. The light from the top is not very flattering. So let me turn that off. This gives us a nice blank canvas to work with. One of my favorite lights to use is a 9,930 degree Fahrenheit ball of helium and hydrogen placed just about 94 million miles outside my window. I'm talking about the sun. I'm trying to be funny. If your desk is close to a window, definitely take advantage of that. Not only does it look good, it makes you feel good. Get that vitamin D. The downside of the sun, though, is you don't have a ton of control. It could be obscured by clouds, or depending on the time of day, it might be on the opposite side of the planet. So to give you a little bit more control and consistency, let's use a lamp. Now, there's a lot of lights marketed as video conference lights or webcam lights. Personally, I would skip these because they're a little too small. They're gonna cast a harsh light and an unflattering shadow. They're usually designed to be mounted directly on your monitor above your camera, and it's just gonna shoot you straight on. And if you wear glasses, it's gonna be a reflection nightmare. A better option is just a table lamp or a desk lamp like this guy. I like this one because it's flexible. I can position it. It's also light color adjustable, so I can dial in the right color temperature that's going to look best on my complexion and match the rest of my lighting. But a regular table lamp will do. Just be mindful of the color of the bulb. Regular indoor lighting tends to cast a warm yellow or orange light. So you might want to swap in a daylight bulb or find something that's color adjustable. Whatever you use, don't blast it directly on your face. That's way too hard. It's making me look shiny and cast hard shadows. We want to diffuse this and soften up this light. You can do that with a lampshade or you can make your own by just rolling up a piece of paper and taping that to your light right here. Already you'll notice it's a little bit softer and it wraps around. There isn't that harsh highlights and dark shadows. Or what I like to do is turn this away from me and bounce it off the wall. And that's a great way to soften it up. Now, I prefer to position my main light about a 45 degree angle off from the camera instead of shooting straight on. That just flattens you out and causes some reflection problems like I mentioned before. So this should do the trick, especially for a setup like this. If you want to get more fancy and play around with multi-point lighting, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because there's even more content on the way to help you take your work from home setup even further. But for now, you can just experiment with other available lights to add some interest and depth to your shot. Now for the part I am most excited to share with you. I wanted to touch on composition and lighting first because it doesn't matter what camera you use. You could be shooting on IMAX for all I care. If your framing and your lighting is bad, your shot's going to be bad. Also, maybe you already have a decent camera and you just needed some pointers on how to get the most out of it. But in case you don't have a good webcam, guess what? You actually do. 
Most modern phones have killer cameras baked in. And there are a couple ways that you can connect your phone to your computer to use it as a webcam. If you have an iPhone running iOS 16 or later and a computer running Mac OS Ventura or later, you can use the continuity camera feature. It looks really sweet, and it's one of the few times I've actually been a little jealous of iPhone users. But I got over that pretty quickly after I discovered a tool that everybody can use, Camo Studio. You download the free Camo Studio software to your Mac or Windows PC, and download the companion app to your phone, then in Zoom or Google Meet or whatever app you're using, just go into settings and select Camo as your camera source, and boom, you're the king of video calls. Now, if you do want to use your phone as a webcam, you might want to pick up a cheap little phone holder or tripod. There's a ton of options on Amazon that you can get for just a few bucks. And that is the only money that you're going to need to spend to significantly improve your video call quality. But if you're willing to invest a little more money, you can level up your look even more. And I'll teach you how to do that in this video right here.